Sorry, my mouth is very dry. <laughs> well, thank you for those of whom who have stayed with us through the break and whatever that was. We have another game coming up. Hotspot has a chance at redemption. Yeah, you know, you get a Will a they second... pick Twisted Fate again? I, I sure hope not. Um, see, there's, like, champs you, like, target ban. There's champs you purposely leave up. And if I were, um... If I were the enemy in, in this game, I would purposely leave that up. Because, uh, <laughs> they, 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 they cook something up in the lab, and uh, they did not test it at all. It ends up yep. being, uh, like, basically chloride gas just, like, taking everyone out. It was not a, not a good move. Yeah, so Obsidian is going to first pick Jarvan. Yeah, and he's a pretty common, pretty pretty common team, yeah. you know. First pick J4, very strong. We said that last game. And uh, that team lost, though. So uh, you can definitely throw true, the draft actually. from here. That you can true. throw the draft from here that without a doubt. No, that is a good point. So they will first pick Jarvan, and Hotspot is just going to blind the Viego into Jarvan. Yeah. Um, Do you think they'll do TF Viego? You know, at this point, why not? It's probably better, it's, it's it better is probably than TF better. Jarvan. Oh, yeah, 100%. You actually have you kill have pressure. Damage. They're gonna do blind Lissandra. Okay. In Diego. You you can do that. Um, I don't know why, but you can do that. I mean, to be fair, that um, their kill pressure on mid is very high. Yeah, that's true. With the uh, Viego Lissandra, you can really lock somebody down. Lissandra snare into a Viego stun and blah blah blah. blah. Lissandra old Viego old. I mean, you can really burst somebody down, but. I don't know. Just picking uh, picking that early. Their early mid prio is very interesting in these drafts. It's a very interesting yeah, to behold. Yeah, and they're not picking like the typical mid blinds of like Oriana Syndra. Yeah, Azir exactly. Like the the solid like Malf control mages. <laughs> Gotta love Malphite. Man. He's a blind Malphite. I respect the self awareness to be like, I'm not gonna ego top. I'm just gonna lock in. Malphite. Gonna play Malphite. I'm just gonna play my role, dude. If, you, if you're smart on Malpha, you can't lose yeah. lane. Oh, 40 CS at 20 every... minutes. Yeah, I'll exactly. Have Bramble Rush with I'm, Tabby. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to max W. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to play the game. No, you max E. Oh, that's fair. So yeah, yeah. for trying to fight you, you just hit E and <laughs> run away. That's right. Absolute giga chat. And they're going to do shit. Oh, that's disaster. All right, this is, this is going to be a hype top lane. Man, matchup. you know, Twisted Fate didn't work out. Let's pick a different <laughs> global. That'll, that'll lock us in. They still could do TF mid. They could do sh they could do Lissandra support in TF mid. Oh, that's disgusting. That yeah. is vile. They could, though. Both of these comps have, like, no damage. Yes. That's good. I like that. I definitely like the blue side more, though, because they actually have, like, really hard engage. Like, that is true. Absurdly hard engage with yeah. uh, Malphite J4. I don't think they have great follow up, though, is the only thing. I mean, there's still a chance to get that follow up, you know. That's like, true. They could pick, like. Oh, they're. You... What? Why did blue team. Oh, I mean, I guess they're it not picking be... mid. Yeah, okay. It could be so... Swain. Yeah, it's probably Swain support, right? Or Swain yeah, bottom yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. And then they're banning Lucian. Interesting. Because Sante, ban are they counting on Shen support? I who knows, man. They don't know what's going on. I don't know. What's oh yeah, going maybe. On. Is I mean, have, I I don't think I've seen Shen support in a hot minute. I'd be very shocked if it was Shen support. But you never know. These drafts are getting really spicy yeah, they recently. They are getting wild. You know, everyone's getting uh, inspired by worlds, and yet it seems like they're not watching it at all. <laughs> they're, uh, getting, yeah, they're getting inspired to pick Shen. Okay, so yeah. they're just gonna pick Jinx. A little Jinx, and you know, Jinx. Yet I. Uh, is that live now? Is there a passive live? The passive yeah, stacking? Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. So, you it's know. It's pretty good. It, no, it, I've seen it. It looks pretty decent. Like, not even like a theoretical, oh, it's so broken. It's bugged. I killed yeah, 10 champions like in a row. Yeah. Now. Like, you, you snowball, like, some kills around towers and, like, uh, around the uh, inhibitor. Oh, you're, you're going Ooh, away. is it Senna Swain bottom? That's I like Senna Swain. I like Senna Swain a lot. Yeah. This is pretty smart by Red or Blue Team. Yeah. Here. Very very hard uh, lane to play against a lot of cc a lot of ranged like kill potential uh really good lane for a j4 to gank as well gonna have a lot a ton of kill potential how do they round this one off though mid lane is they a... could do senna tom kench i mean that's true they senna, could, could opt for the screen lissandra and viego mm -hmm. so hard but they're gonna do tristana mid it looks like i assume i kind of like it because you're kind of lacking dps right now and is it actually 
I'm so confused where these champions are going. It could be Swain mid, Tristana Senna bot, but I I would almost bet it's gonna be Swain Senna. It could yeah. still be Swain mid though. Oh wait, what's going on on the on the red side on the though? Nico hover. Oh my god, look at the. Hold on, I gotta think here. It's Nico support probably. Yeah. Zyra. Okay. Yeah. So, Zyra Jinx. I don't know what team I like more. To be honest with you, I don't. I think uh, neither. Yeah, we go with that. <laughs> I'm not a fan of either of them. Uh, Tristana mid is mm. interesting into Lissandra. I don't actually think it's that good of a matchup. I don't know. I mean, you just W onto I mean, what, what is Lissandra? onto Lissandra and she stuns you and then runs away. Yeah. So. Or she also. I mean, I, I guess you have like the you have push potential. I guess you could look at it that yeah. way. Yeah. But Lissandra has decent push in Yeah, yeah, she can, she can clear. If a wave's shoved into her, she can just WQ a wave, and it's pretty much gone. The only the thing is, is like it's like maybe Tristana can shove out, but what does she do? Like, she just shoves out in bases. So yeah. she doesn't really have a lane to roam to, and she doesn't really have kill pressure. But she does have, like, good engage tools with the rest of her team. You That's know? true. Like, the Swain, Malphite, J4 all, all have very, very solid engage tools. Yeah. The Senna as well. So being able to follow up on that, like, it just having the DPS option. Yeah. I do actually think Desira will provide a decent amount of value. Like, uh, oh, the zone control that she'll provide is yeah, and just the massive. ultimate. Yeah, the ultimate. Yeah, into just dive. Yeah, exactly. Any of the champions separating the front line from the back line will be absolutely massive. Yeah. So, the game is like very much on Jinx to carry. Honestly, I agree. The damage is that's so literally incredibly Jinx. low. It's literally just Jinx and a Viego if he snowballs. Do you think that when Red Side was picking their draft, they were like? What if we pick two reset champions? There's no way we lose. Maybe? I'm pretty sure I can tell you exactly what they said. They said, think about this draft. We have Lissandra ult, right? You ult someone, and then we get two resets, and how do you lose <laughs> wait, after double reset? Wait, you're so smart. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally... That's, I, that's, that's, like what, everyone, that's what everyone chance. says when they pick Lissandra. Yep. It's like, how Ooh, do you play? I it? love it. I love it. Just two pods right now. Will they interact? That's the real question. Oh, my goodness. Who wins level one? I think that um, Blue Side wins this level one. We'll see. I, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But will they even see each other? This is actually really smart. Just kind of hiding out in the brush. Will All it takes is <laughs> oh, one gonna, errant person. In. Here we go. Yep. Do you think they're going to walk back or are they going to walk? No, oh, no you fools. <laughs> no, it's doomed. Now they've been spotted. They had it. Oh, it's a Whoa, minimal... this is this is this is actually doomed. Oh, Senna started W, but Guess the guess the damage, but there's no follow Ooh, huge up root. right now. Now double Shentaunt. It's it's absolutely huge. Yeah. I think the first blood is going to go over to red side. It looks like it will. First yeah. blood, Zyra picks that one up. J4 is in the it's back over. line. Can he pick up the reset? No. The mouth fight is picked up by Viego it looks like. Uh, the damage is going to be there. Tristana tries to W into the back to try to pick up some kills, but just not going to be the reality. The rockets come in from the Jinx. The flash oh. away. A double kill. Oh, Jinx is going to kill. Oh, my it's God. Over. An absolute disaster. She's going to chase this. No. Send it down. Going to be giving up on that. But, wow. Uh, one trade kill at the end of it for Jinx Obsidian. Jinx caught none of them. That is, <laughs> that is horrible, man. Zyra got three kills, man. I, you know... There's a lot worse supports than Zyra to get three kills on early game, though. If she can go back and get a lost chapter or something, that's absolutely disgusting, you know? Let's have infinite mana in lane. But yeah, just just a wacky, wacky level one. And I think a little bit misplayed by uh, by Hotspot. I think they... No, 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 by Obsidian. I think they had a really good... If they just sat in the brush, they would have definitely got the drop on them. would have been able to... Yeah. But then again, that would have been like a five-man Shen taunt if they don't respond yeah, to that properly. Right, that's true. I think, honestly, I don't know if it's actually that useful for Senna to start W either. I think no. Q is a lot better. Probably. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll definitely... It's definitely, uh, if your team needs it, like the amount of damage you can pump out in a level one fight is huge. Yeah. Damage coming in, bot... Oh, yeah, it's Jinx taking a ton of damage, yeah. but so is the Senna. They're going to try to get this one in, probably get a reset off. So yeah, they haven't the, backed and spent their gold. Yeah, Zyra's got a ton of gold to spend. Jinx probably has some consolation gold. Maybe enough for a pickaxe. I doubt it's that much, though. It's just so oh, it's, she's, oh dead. That, she's dead. She's 100% dead. No, the root comes in, but there's just no follow-up. They just don't go for it. 
Jinx cannot push this under. No, it does get under. I think that cannon will get hit by the tower, so the wave will reset. Oh, but here comes J4. On, J on Jinx is dead. There's no flash. There's no way they screw this one up. The Zyra <laughs> does get a ton of damage off, though. Can they maybe get a Constellation kill? No. One <laughs> auto attack would have done it. They they tried to throw that as hard as they could, but they just couldn't oh, no, manage to do it. disaster. Zyra almost picking that one up. Swain looking to get the return kill. Gets the pull, but it's just not going to be enough damage there. Zyra will get out to spend her gold. A really nice play by the J4, understanding that there is no flash on the Jinx. It's a free kill. Almost kills himself, but, uh, you know, Zyra plants are no joke, man. That is true. That is true. This is early game, man. You okay, so. Pay attention. Zyra backs with. She has. T she actually just pen, like, full pen boots and Amptom. That's, That's very sad. Yeah. Uh, Zyra does, like, way more damage than Jinx right now. Oh, 100%. Yeah, she's just going to absolutely run that lane solo. Like, early pen boots, you're going to be working on Lost Chapter to get that, like, extremely quick. Just get her Leandries or... That's what you got, right, Leandries? Yeah, you definitely got Yeah, Leandries, probably. Yeah. Especially if you have this much gold. Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, mid lane, very boring. Two sh hard shove champions. Malphite has 11 CS. 13. Uh, he's, he's catching some of this. It won't be that bad soon. Uh, oh, I don't think he fares that bad against Shen. I guess kind of. I think it is, like, pretty good for Shen, but... Yeah, I think... So. Yeah. Okay, and he's going to taunt oh, in. And oh, just gonna almost smack denies each other. The, almost denies him the cannon, but Malphite able to get the E off just in time. Malphite's but, opting into this, but he doesn't yeah, win it. Yeah, I don't think he does. Yeah, they... He, when you get the Vorpal Blade bit and pulled through, you're not going to win those auto-attack fights. You know, yeah. the empowered auto-attack just a little bit too much. And the minion wave's huge, too. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be fighting in that. Another, another taunt, taunt lands, he just dings level 5. Malphite's going to have to be careful here. He's going to head back to his turret. Is super low, and Viego's yeah. heading to top, so... They might be looking for a dive here. Of a dive Hopefully, Malphite can catch some of this wave, but if he's not careful, that can be a clean dive coming in. The Shen is not exactly decent HP, though. The, he's, Malphite's going to have to play smart, wait for this wave to crash, because it is going Viego to crash. Viego blocked out of the book. Oh. No, no, do not recall there, Malphite. Do, do not need to recall. Do not. Oh, is he, I, oh, he is recalling. He's just going to institute. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. He just he just feigned it. Okay, good. But please don't recall. That would hurt my heart if I saw that. Oh, Jarvan's coming oh, around, and Zyra's no. under the turret with Zyra's a shutdown on her. Has no flash. Jarvan has flash himself. Is going to It's not going to do anything, in. actually. I mean, he's got to wait for his flag and drag. Did he already, he already use his... He used flag and drag. He uses yeah. W. But I think the damage will be there, though. They get enough <gasps> down. Whoa! Oh, the sidestep. Swain will pick up that shutdown. Absolutely massive. The Zyra just sees a little bit of red there. Just sees the low health Senna under the tower and thinks, yeah, man, I want some of that. Give me even more gold. But you got to respect when you have a shutdown, especially for your support. You can't just be throwing your life away like that. Yeah. But she gets another item on her base, so she won't be too bad. A little fiendish codex. Going to be loving to see that. She almost made it out. That was a pretty good Yeah, that was step. crazy, right? <clears throat> I mean, at, at that point, there's just too many people chasing her. Like, yeah. uh, the sidestep was very nice, don't get me wrong, but it was just uh, yeah, too little, too late. She's kind of losing the CS battle right now. Yeah. I don't know how that's... I, she just has to be missing CS. Yeah. yeah, you have to... Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that is always, like, the Tristana, like, oh, you know, explosive, whatever. Yep. Your E, you're always going to miss a couple CS early game before you get enough damage, but... Oh, my goodness, so the Malphite... Yeah. They, doing some damage. You know, he he has his back off Shen, not so much. Ops could just get the full armor start, you know, the the, the classic, I'm just going to build Bramble Vest, and uh, yeah, you try to play the game now, buddy. The and full Bramble. Yeah, you know, people think, like, oh, noob's going to build the whole armor, full Bramble. You know, if it works on Malphite, it works. You can't even complain about it. Um, looks like Hotspot's going to have a little bit of prio on this dragon here. The bot lane is trying to contest it. J4 going to get rooted up, but that's a lot of the CC already off the table. Here comes Jinx, but here comes Lissandra as well, crashing in. Oh. Going to be interesting to see what happens. They're going to be getting out of there. J4 goes for the engage. Does not get the smite off, though. The prison comes in for the Lissandra. Going to be able to survive. The, the Shen dies top lane as well, I guess. Uh, and this fight is just going... All the way down to the wire. Tristana is able to get out of there. At just a crazy fight. And uh, it looks like Hotspot really oh loving God. their position Tristana out of that. Sort of flashes in. It is going to be enough. The shutdown goes over there. Uh, Viego getting a little bit cocky, you know, trying to convert even more gold for his team. But look at little Malphite, you know, gave the soul kill on to the Shen. Uh, probably a bit of. Yeah, uh, 
Oh, he doesn't get that blade, does he? Oh, that's a bit of a misplay. But, you know, you get the recall off. I think he kind of had to base there. Yeah. Or else he wasn't going to get his recall off. So uh, kind of a smart move. He wishes he got the plate, but you can't really yeah. do too much about it. A uh, bit of a misplay by Shen to opt to fight before he got his purchase I, off. Yeah. I, or, I wonder if he was trying to alt into the fight and then he got Malphite ulted. That's what I think. Probably, happened. right? But I don't know. So a lot of resources being used, though. Viego Flash, Lissandra Flash as well. Senna and Tristana and Jarvan and Malphite. Well, all use flashes on... Mm -hmm leave side so we'll see if that pays out in the end yeah it's gonna be interesting to see what happens yeah that gold right now bang on even the dragon will go the side of hotspot so they have that going for them but as far as tempo wise both teams are in a pretty decent spot this swain is getting an ab absolutely massive already four kills on him uh, malphite is going to be soaking all the cs under the tower he's fine he's chilling he's having a nice time uh i think might have weathered the storm of what Shen can do to him. Just going to be probably soaking CS the rest of the game. Look for some kill opportunities maybe if he gets jungle assistance, but he's going to be chilling there. Uh, Viego going for a counter counter jungling right now. He doesn't really have that much prio. He's just sitting there. The Senna's here as up, well. Uh, Rift. Senna roaming up. Yeah. The, looking like they're going for it. This is an interesting play by the Viego. They definitely don't have any information that he's there. He's going to get this blue for free while this fight is going down mid. Very interesting because his team is going to die for that. So a bit of an interesting decision not opting to help his team out there. But he's going to take blue and Gromp. Yeah, he's going to take blue and Gromp. He's going to get that, you know. He's getting an advantage, you know. Just yeah. play safe. Play safe mid. He is like super super far ahead of no, he is, he right is extremely far ahead and if he happens to jump into that. this he's gonna almost certainly steal this away right he lands a stun yeah, jarvan he's absolutely massive he's ulted ultimate. by senna and he's just gonna force him away mouth fight is gonna yeah. oh, nice buffer action Ooh, yeah, and a nice buffer. nice flash away by the diego to get out of there he didn't even flash he just ult buffered him oh but i think he also flashed no he didn't flash you're right yeah, he just ult buffered that was really nice Oh, they, they want more, though. They want to take the fight. This is interesting. Yeah, they do have I mean, it's Lissandra. not bad. They, yeah, they yeah. know that um, no ulti from Lissandra. the Malphite fight as well, so... No Shen ultimate, though. But they they, they have, have the damage. damage. Yeah. yeah, they definitely have the damage. Oh, yeah, no, and Shen comes around over the top, so I guess Shen ultimate was up. Uh, the damage could be about to just absolutely pop off here. Tries to get another reset. Stana almost done. Has a w and now. there she goes. Gonna be chased. Oh, oh my god, Malphite's on the Malphite objective, is, though. Uh, dealing some massive damage. Absolute giga chad. I don't think it's enough, though. The Lissandra just... Forcing him off by herself. The claw comes in. Another Q, an auto tag. Boom. Blank Sora picks that one up. And yeah, just a, a really nice fight by Hotspot. You know, That's kind of understanding close. their limits. A nice attempt by the Jinx. That lands. It's probably a kill onto yeah. the Swain. But yeah, you know, Hot, Hotspot, really good there. They uh, Viego just gets a decent amount of uh, advantage. Sandra gets some kills. We already have a blade from the Diego. He's going to be loving that item. Just really ramping up his damage. But yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, Diego's honestly in a really strong point. And with the channel on top, he's pretty hard to kill. So Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that combination with the Shen and the Diego... Like a, Shen is a much better uh, user of global than TF is. More of a support rather than a carry. Able to augment other people engaging. Get that extra layer on top of it. Yeah, and... A lot of visual bugs in this game. You ever, you ever see a... Is that something new that they added this patch? Like, anytime anything that's not a champion or minion dies, it's just minus 999. Yeah, I saw that too. The, the J4, you know, yeah. the J4 is co or ult is coded as a bunch of minions. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what that is. So yeah, yeah there's another oh. one right there. Another plant died. Zyra just all saying. the souls? I don't know. Is yeah, that ulting? Nothing really coming out there. Malphite going for the TP. That is, you can't do that. What is he thinking? That's it's a shed. He can just taunt your ass. Oh, but Swain always going to be kind of huge here. Zyra yeah, he... just dies. Malphite for who? Nothing. Don't need flash him. Away from oh my Lissandra, God. But flash forward from Swain. He's going to get Lissandra all oh, so much damage. Too much. It's so hard to kill. But Viego's going to pick it up in the end. Swaps over to Swain. Oh, gets shut down. Oh, flash oh, away whoa. from Jinx. going to be one. He's going to get excited oh, to reset. But they don't it. put down the Jarvan while he's going to find one more. But Tristana trades it back. Double kill. Viego almost pulls that Jinx. one off. And this will determine who wins the fight right here. And it looks like nothing will happen, but 
Yeah, Tristana, uh, the battle of the resets right there. Tristana jumping all over the place. Viego almost going nuclear right there. Yeah. It, it, he was like one reset off of just clearing that fight. But just the margins were just too tight. Could not quite pull it off. And Malphite just going to be hanging out here, just trading some blows with Shen. Got to be careful, though. Shen definitely can kill him from that HP. Uh, very questionable play by the Malphite, though. We can't... We can't... Uh, Ignore that. The uh, teleport in front of a Shen, you know, that's, uh... That, did he think Taunt wouldn't interrupt to uh, teleport? Like, it, Yeah, it that was does. a little bit iffy. That, and it wasn't even like he was trying to, like, run it. Like, he was just mm -hmm. literally doing it on the wave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nice. Oh, little Shen gets a little Taunt going on there. The Viego tries a gank on the bot. The Senna, though, gets her snare off there. Not... Thing going to come from that. Malphite just trying to soak EXP. Oh, the Zyra gets some plants off, gets some big damage. Rook will be going over top, but this dragon fight is where the action is happening. Tristana has the flank position right now. Uh, Viego is in trouble. He's not in a good spot. Here comes Lissandra. They're trying to take a try to take Swain out of this fight early, but it's not going to work. The Viego does fall. The Tristana picks that one up. Oh, Jinx gets the, reset though. The J Jinx does get reset. I don't know and why this is, Jinx yeah, is being so scared. I know. She could really wipe that fight. Uh, I get advantage at the end of the day and comes for Hotspot. They force them out of the pit. Do they pick up a kill, though? Wait. Oh, a more fight. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a one for one there. Tristana picks that one up. How did Shen die? Did Shen just die top? I, he didn't TP in, did he? No, he didn't. I think. Or he, did he? No. no, look at the old cooldown. Did he? Oh, I think he did actually ult in. Oh, he might have. Oh, that was a crazy fight. Uh, it looks like Dragon fight. will go over to Hotspot. Yeah, after all, all the dust After settles. all of that, yeah. Yeah. I thought for sure Viego's in a tight spot, but just kind of hangs tight in the pit, waits for Lissandra. Uh, he still ends up getting blown up immediately, <laughs> but at least the team did well after that. Yeah. Uh, two, both Leandries are picked up, though. It's going to be absolutely massive damage amps for their AP carries. Yep. I like the Leandries on uh, Lissandra instead of opting for like an Everfrost or something. Going yeah, to more damage. Just get some damage. Their you know. team needs that damage, you know. Yeah. They have a, they have some CC. They have a decent amount. They have like lockdown potential. So you get that little extra damage for your team. I like that over the uh, alternative. Yeah, Shen's going to taunt in. I don't even know if it's worth mentioning, though, because I don't think either of them ever kill each other. Yeah, yeah, unless some really extraneous circumstance comes in. Some outside help, but they're they're both tanked out of their minds right now. Uh, Malphite going for a bit of a, like a slow burn kind of build, you know, it just kind of getting a bunch of items and not really completing any of them. Uh, no mythic in any near sight. Uh, that's it's kind of what you do though as Malphite, you just build to survive lane and eventually you'll get your items completed. Yeah. Uh, Jinx a little bit in trouble here, but sidesteps absolutely everything. Really nicely played. Zyra was sitting in the wings and things got hairy. They do get the slowdown onto the Swain. Maybe they look for something, but I doubt it. That, uh, don't tend to want to run into a Swain. It won't work out too well for you most of the time. Yeah. Oh, Zyra, though, oh, but yeah. sitting. Complete vision clear. It just deleted. <laughs> Senna is gone. Swain going to try to fight, and he might actually... Yeah, oh he's going to win that. He's get, but the Jinx reset oh, is going Jinx's. to be enough. The burst is there. Oh, can barely... Oh, but the minions! It is going to be enough. The shutdown goes over. A two for two clean. Both teams clearing right there. A massive shutdown, though, yeah, going shut over. Yeah, for the side of um, Swain, right? Swain, yeah, Swain got that shutdown, right? Yeah, Jinx, yeah. Jinx had a shutdown. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, just, just gold trade all over the place. That's a rise for the Swain after that. Yeah, that's, that's very huge. scary. Huge, and he has a stopwatch as well. Going to be able to make a huge play in the next dragon fight, most likely. Or unless everyone rotates to this Rift Herald. Looks like they're planning on doing just that. Yeah, both teams are converging onto this. Ah, will Viego be able to finish this off in time? I don't think yeah, he I will. Yeah, I don't think so. It's 4k greedy. HP. He's going to have to ult out. Yeah, he ults over the wall to get out of there. Here comes Shen, though. He kind of has a taunt angle, possibly. Viego, but... flash deal. Wow, flash deal by oh, the they Viego. The Jarvan. Yeah, J4 is going to have to flash. Almost certainly about to go down, though. The Ignite ticking away. Just waiting, waiting. Oh, the Senna stun over the wall actually saves his life. Really well played by yeah. the Senna. To get that over the wall to slow down. Oh, the and the Jinx Hulch just goes Ooh, wide. Just barely goes wide. Somehow, some way, J4 finds his way out of that. Another snare by the Senate comes in, but here comes the Rift Herald, freshly picked up. Gonna throw that Jinx on top. Jinx has lane. to flash away from the uh, Tristana going on. Or, oh, yeah. And Malphite right. is just split pushing. Pop. He's just vibing, man. 
Split Push and Malphite, you never heard of it? Come there on. There you go. He's only had TP this entire time. Trying to find an angle. He's going to W onto the swing. Gets the Zonias and the oh. ulti over the top from Jarvan and Senna. Tragedy. They just don't have the damage. I mean, it's like full tank swing. And just in time, Malphite teleports in after all the fighting's ended. But it's not over yet. There's still a tower to be dove. Yeah. And they don't know Malphite's here yet. The Tristana ultimate comes through. The bomb will proc, but it's not going to be enough. Malphite, pick his poison, pick his poison. Who's going to die? <laughs> no way you just alter. Come on. You don't got to do that. I respect it. I respect it, too. It, it feels good to kill someone with your ult. That was, it, that was so alpha. That was. That was, <laughs> that that was man, so alpha. That man just shot her into the next universe. That was uh, uh, sending a message right there more than yeah. anything. You like to see it. Yep. So you're sending a message. You know, take one tower. We'll come back and take two. How's that? Yeah, I think, I mean, honestly, I think super greedy to try to engage onto the Swain with yeah. Stopwatch and Rath. I He's very tanky right now with the ultimate. They just don't have the yeah. damage yet, so. And now he has full Zanyas. What is Jinx building? Um, oh, yeah, What? what's the, no, no, you don't build more attack speed if you just got an, a, a, a passive buff that gives you more attack speed. That's not how you really ramp your damage. Um, yeah, and she... Building Gale Force? Does Gale Force build out no, of zeal? No, it does not. That's a. Uh, if that's a Runans, I might just walk home. It, <laughs> There's no way, right? It's got to be like a Phantom Dancer at least, right? Well, Phantom Dancer is terrible too. I have, but like, it. what's good? There's no good zeal item here. Is it? It might be Gale Force. I have. Does I, Gale Force build out of zeal? I think Gale Force. I don't might think build it. Oh. Gale Force builds out of zeal. I do not think that's right. I need to look this up now because. No, because I thought it's it was a. New quiver item, right? Oh, you're right. It is, isn't it? Wait. Yeah, it's a new quiver. It's never built that unless something wacky happened recently. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta hold that one on hold. We got a bit of a fight going on here. Malphite with a massive ultimate, a huge damage coming in, and you're gonna be clearing out that fight. But the both back lines are falling right here, doing absolute massive damage. The Swain just through the Zanya is killing everybody. Lissandra on top of it. The dive is just not going to be there. The damage not there. The support falls, but that's it. It's only a Viego left surviving. This fight is absolutely huge. Obsidian getting an even bigger advantage, and Tristana wants blood. Finds the Viego, but Viego wants to pick this fight. It's not going to be enough, though. The bomb will certainly finish him off. Tristana picking that one up. Obsidian in full control of this game. Picks up their first dragon, and will they walk it over to the Baron? Nope, that's going to go for a quick little reset, and that'll be that. So Gale Force does build out of Zeal. It does build out of yeah. Zeal now. Okay. So he's building Gale Force, okay, which well, I don't think is very good, but... yeah. I, I, it's probably not the best. It's probably not the best who to just die under tower for no reason, but he's doing that anyway. That is true. Yeah, and this is see, this is a bit of the problem with the reset comp is that if you uh, you're not killing people, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not doing anything. And I think the other thing is that Jinx just kind of takes a while to scale up. Lissandra's never going to do that much damage, and they're so low range. I mean, honestly, so many of them are just countered by Swain. Yeah. No, that, that's honestly the truth right there. I mean, we saw how much damage Swain did that time, just protecting the back line, just basically sitting on top of the Viegos, the Shens, the uh, Lissandras, and just soaking up all that damage and dishing it right back out. Just an absolute unit just carrying yeah. the entire fight. I mean, 12 kills, man, that guy is impossible. He could be working on his Demonic Embrace next. He already has his belt going towards that. He's almost the highest level in the game. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Crazy to think about, you know, bot laner's not really known for getting the most yeah. EXP, but he is finding a way this game, for sure. Oh man, Jinx is so, Jinx only has 114 CS at It's 20, not great. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not a good place if you're Jinx right now. She's trying yeah. her hardest. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I just, I don't know if she'll ever get enough damage, especially no. with this Gale Force build exactly. to actually it, shred through. I mean, if you're picking Jinx, you're kind of like... You're almost putting eggs in the basket of you need to like actually like burst out the damage. But if you're just going Gale Force, you're kind of like in the middle of two champions right there. Right, you're, exactly. you're not you're not building to ramp up and you're kind of building to survive. But if you survive, you're not dealing damage. Right, so exactly. It's like, well, what are you even doing at that point? Yep, exactly. And I mean, yeah, it's so hard to shred through Malphite and Jarvan. And yeah, it's not. It's it's a very, definitely very right. tough. We will see though as. 
That being said, though, top lane and jungle, they do have decent CS advantages, so there's a little bit of a little bit of a reprieve there. Yeah, that's I mean, true. They, they got a little bit of gold. Oh, Jinx. Pulse gonna land onto the Jinx. Yeah, Diver all over the top. Has to flash out of the center. Just, all just pop every ult. Jarvin. Jinx will die. <laughs> That's a tough tough spot if you're Jinx. You think you're safe there. Not quite. The, the, the flash uh, W by the uh, Viego, but Tristano's going to ult him out. That's going to be the end of that. Though he's chasing down, does pop his ultimate, charges it up again. The stun lands the Lissandra ult, and that will be a dead Tristana. So a nice play to pick up that shutdown and get some gold back in their pockets. But yeah, I mean, still doesn't really change the flow of the game too, too much. It's still looking like Obsidian's game to lose. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of... Read too on the side of Tristana just opts to hold the flash instead of just flashing everything about. Yeah. Yeah, if she just pops that flash early, it basically just deters the entire rest of the fight. Yeah. They're not even going to try to chase at that point. But thought she could ego it, just run out of there, but not quite. The Viego over pushes a bit top lane here. Has to run away from the J4. The rest of the team is a bit far behind, but I think J4 can just solo him at this yeah. point. The damage is just too high. Oh, Chenel. Uh, yeah, the Chenel comes in on top. This might have been a perfect bait, but here comes the rest of the team. Malphite as well. The Swain. Uh, poor Shen saves his buddy and just gets killed as a result. He tries to pick up a Constellation kill, but it's not going to be there. The Jinx Rocket comes in over the top, but it's too little too late. And little Viejo baits his team into dying. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, I mean, they have to go for something, but... Yeah, I mean, maybe... It's hard. It's definitely very hard at this point in the game. You, you can feel how far behind you are yep. and just how far ahead the enemy team is. You try to go for a play, but it doesn't always work out. Uh, Obsidian always in the right place at the right time, there to respond to any aggression that is put forth by Hotspot and oh not really goodness. letting go of the leash. Swain is at four items and Jinx is... It's, it's a travesty. It hasn't even completed Item and a second. Half. Yeah. It's an absolute travesty, for sure. Uh, like, Swain is, like, at his strongest point in the game right now. And yep. one more item to finish that off. But, I mean, he's already got his core right there. He's going to be absolutely shredding through a fight. Yeah. Three levels up as well. So, I am pretty sure that they can just start Baron at any point. I don't think there's a way to... No, yeah, 100%. Like, you can just start Baron blind whenever you feel like it. Especially if they get a pick on this Viego here. Oh, Close. just barely gets out of there. That man just had his heart skip a beat for a second. Barely surviving. They're going to be looking for top lane here, but, I mean, they just don't have anyone here. This dragon is almost certainly going to go over. Then I'm going to try to contest it. Just burn down to that one. And it looks like... Uh, Tristana going for the uh, Navari Quick Blade build. I think we've seen that a couple times on Tristana. Yep. You know, just burning through every structure she can with those low cooldowns. Yeah, allows for like so many uh, keys. Yep. In team fights as well. Exactly. Damage. All right, Chen. Chen looking for this. Uh, he might have the damage. Does he have the team support? Not exactly. I mean, if. Tristana just stands still, he'll win that, but I don't think she's uh, opting to do that. Yeah. Uh, Jinx, yeah, yeah, buddy, you can't be there. Yeah, uh, they really should have just let Shen t come through at that point and get another free kill. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to set a trap, and then they just yeah, then they didn't the realize just that died Jinx, right. Yeah, Jinx dies in two seconds. <laughs> yeah. So that uh, that Jinx uh, needs to understand that um, when they're when the enemy team's that far ahead, there's no such thing as a yeah. tower that can't be dove. Like you, you, you can't just be standing there by yourself and not expect to be absolutely annihilated. Yep. The good news is Jinx has Gale Force though. That is true. Uh, that will now she will survive next fight. Well, she actually had it there, and and she still died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just too much. It's just lit too many things. You basically have to position perfect to begin with. Like the Gale Force is a moot point. Yep. Like it's Malphite old J four old. Swain CC yeah, and the thing is, is that Gale Force doesn't actually get you out of most. It of doesn't. Those no, it doesn't. If like you're, if you're playing on the edge of somebody's engage range, it'll get you out of the edge of it. Right. right. Like it's not going to. If you're like already like way out of position, it's not going to save your life. Right. And you, it's almost impossible to dodge Malphite out with a Jarvan combo with it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Just the range of their engage too, which is so yeah, long. Is like so long. flag drag ult from J4 is a very long engage. A Malphite flash ult, very very long mm -hmm. engage. It's just very hard if you're Jinx to even exist in this game. But yeah, I, I mean every 
every lane right now not doing so hot for hotspot everyone's pretty far behind i i think obsidian just going to march this one right into a baron would not surprise me i mean they can just pretty much take this on spawn like it just even just start hitting it just force the team to respond They're gonna walk into the jungle here just get as much vision as they can i don't be surprised they got ways pushed out everywhere I just, just start the baron just make them come and if they yeah. come you just turn and fight yeah and that's exactly what they're going to do is burn this thing down the tristana is going to absolutely annihilate it same thing with the swain with all of the hp burn that he has yeah jinx rocket could steal it no. she times it right not going to be timed right though it's going to take the baron it's just too powerful to even contest Lasana trying to get a constellation tower that's an outer tower no one really cares about that a little bit of gold <laughs> back is, in their pockets yeah it is the objective bounty though so that is true she actually hasn't even gotten it yet though no but she probably will seal the deal on that one on this wave here so you know objective bounties yeah nice little good. addition you know uh, no team's ever completely out of the game uh Still 10k gold, not looking too hot. Diego's trying to set a little trap here. Maybe trying to pick someone off. Um, I don't think there's anyone he can really find that he can kill <laughs> yeah. that's not Senna. It's definitely not going to be the Swain no. or this Malphite. Yeah, just going to get his recall off. You know, looking for something that's not a bad idea to look for a pick at this point. That's pretty much all you can do. Yeah. It's, uh, you're already in a fairly rough spot. Yeah, they're just going to look to march it down bot lane and take another inhibitor. They already have mid... Looking to get these double inhibitors. Close this one out. Up almost 10k gold. Nine in a little bit. Yep. They're just going to take it down. Ooh, Lissandra's in trouble. Oh, Tristana. They're trying to look for the play on Tristana, but that's two people committed top, and that's an inhibitor dead. Can't commit all those resources. Viego's going to be a while for him to get back to base. He's starting his recall now. This tower almost certainly going to go down, though. No Tristana, no problem. They pop the Zyra to buy some time, but the tower still falls. The cannon minions just barrage it. But they do have a numbers advantage right now. Tristana cannot join this fight. Viego is on the flank. They go for the engage, getting extremely low. J4 Sorry, almost so low. falls, but Swain same thing with the Zyra. Yeah, Swain <laughs> is full HP in the middle. It doesn't really matter. The Shen tries to escape, but here comes J4. Finishing that one off with the dunk. Uh, it's just going to be an absolute wipe. So the Tristana did teleport in. I forgot she had that. Was able yeah. to completely clean up the fight. They saw an advantage. They tried to take it at the end. But it's just not going to be enough. The team is just too far ahead. He gets a Constellation kill on the Tristana. He feels a little bit better about himself. But that is going to be Obsidian taking that one in a convincing fashion. Yeah. Pretty one-sided. I mean, despite the huge level one, like, three kills to yeah. the Zyra, it just... They, they were, I don't think they were really able to capitalize enough on that lead and then once it got later swain was just such a huge monster. yeah swain was just absolutely massive there's just no answer to the swain on that team yeah but just and the engage they had on top of it just really worked well with the swain you just no. dog pile on their back line swain just comes in perma slows you you can't get out like and you can't kill the guy it's yeah. impossible to kill there's just no damage answer to that uh you, you <laughs> Reset teams are not looking too hot into Swain. Like, he's never killing them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And the thing about it is, like, you know, we touched on this before the game in the draft, is the damage is low. Like, you Extremely, know. yeah. So you have to get the first reset to make the reset comp work. And I think the other thing is that, honestly, the engage was kind of lackluster. Like, yeah. Lissandra provides a lot of engage, but Shen engage isn't very solid is pretty short range zyra doesn't really have consistent engage viego doesn't have consistent engage so it's really hard to actually find those picks and get the team fight started uh, and they just weren't able to make yep. anything happen of it still gg to the side of obsidian i think they played really solid uh, yeah no definitely back, stayed in it but with that being said that is all we have. That's all we have. That's all we have for games oh you know, we have an interview we have an interview well, we do have an interview that's all though. we have for games but we do, we do have, have an one interview, interview. Uh, we're going to be queuing that one up. I don't know who it's with because I don't have a screen right now. Yeah. No information there. be nice to have, but we're just going to stall because apparently, you know, we had this interview ready. That's what I heard. But then we don't have the interview ready. He's joining. Well, can, can I have a screen so I can see what I'm even doing right now? Thank you. I don't know. Well, you're the one with the computer in front of you. You tell me if that's the right person. I don't, yeah, you, you're setting this up. I have no idea. It's okay. Next week, our production is going to be on. Yeah, the, 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 the perpetual next week that never comes.
fact, this green screen software sucks. There's a massive green line around me. Look at that, dude. It's jarring. But we're burning. Yeah, dude. Well, it's because obsidian. Yeah, it's where I am right now. Hell in this <laughs> broadcast. It's actual hell. God dang it. So it's this. Is this the what? Do we? Is. We don't okay. have audio. We don't Do have we audio. Have audio. Do we have audio? Hello. Oh, I heard something. I don't think we haven't had audio the entire time though. Yeah. Be able to hear the Hello. Hello. Oh, there, he there he is. What is up, Mr. Magnum Buck? Yeah, what's happening here? So uh, we have terrible memory. Uh, what position did you play last game? Hang on, I can't hear you guys. Oh, good. Yep. Awesome. Yo, can you hear us now? Yes, I had to fix in something in there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, okay, Good. okay. All right. It was probably our fault, honestly, so don't even blame yourself. <laughs> yeah, just blame y'all. Just yeah, blame exactly. us. Just blame us. We're the, we're the production. The, it is the safe bet. Yeah. So uh, uh, so what role did you play last game? I got terrible memory around these played parts. Good old support role. Oh, a little support. Third little... carry. Third carry. Nice. Yeah, a little, little center Dude, action the right center there. Action. So uh, the Swain pick, right, obviously got extremely strong throughout that game. What about the Swain pick? Um... What about what did you see in that game that allowed the swing pick to be so effective for your team? Uh, it just really made a good flex. And, I mean, if we needed it to go into the Lissandra, if we needed it to go into the bot lane, and then them just going ahead and picking the Jinx that just allowed us to be able to be bullies in the lane. And uh, Killian does like his swing. He called his shot and uh, there you go. he pulled it out. That he did. Yeah. How did you all feel after? Because the level one was pretty disastrous for you. So what was your mental, I mean, coming out of that pretty rough start? <laughs> you know, honestly, I didn't feel like it really affected us. I don't know if we even realized exactly how it was. I'm like, oh, Zyra has a triple kill. <laughs> yeah. But then even bot lane, just the start of it was weird. Yeah. Uh, and then us going ahead and picking back up some kills really early, it kind yeah. of evened it out, and it didn't even feel like the Zyra was that much ahead. And yeah. I came back to lane, and I had equal boots with her. Right. And I was yeah. like, okay. I, I don't think she ever actually spent gold until you guys were able to come back bot and pick up a, mm -hmm. like a kill or two back. Yeah, so, so the, the advantage was pretty much nullified at that point. Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, really solid. Uh, like the picks, I think you guys just drafted around their draft really well. Was that something you had scouted out going in? Like, did you have a pretty good idea of what you thought they were going to play? Or was it mostly just kind of reactive based on their picks? Uh, we kind of figured that there was a jinx somewhere in there. I mean, just like hyper carries in that way. We kind of banned the things that we didn't want for the things that we had prepared ourselves. Sure. And there was a little bit of reactivity in there. Um, yeah. But once we called the Swain shot, we just went ahead and uh, executed on that draft. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was super solid all the way through. Well, we always like to end it with a shout out if you have any shout outs, fans, uh, any friends, shout out to coaches. <laughs> No, definitely. Shout out to the coach Kadu, my guy, nice. or Kaboo. Uh, <laughs> don't ask. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, shout out to Void top laner, letting me not play in the top lane and uh, get absolutely destroyed. Just let me play down the bot lane, play third carry. True. There it's you the go. Way, it's the uh, shout out my jungle for playing sick today. Oh. Um, oh, how's he doing? Him. How's he doing? Uh, he left call, I think, <laughs> or he's uh, somewhere laying down. Oh, well, you know, he, he could have fooled me. He played extremely yeah, he did well. Play good. Extremely well that game. I mean, he's playing a busted champ, so I really hope he could carry that game. So really, really yeah. good stuff. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I'm sure we'll hear from you soon, and good luck in f your future games. Yeah, take care. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, well, you know, I don't have an outro. I don't have anything to say. Yeah. I'm pretty low energy today. We're both low energy. Yeah, you know, enough. it's just that kind of week. It's that kind of week. Yeah, we got a skeleton crew around here. Yeah. It's uh, times are tough. You know, the uh, the recession's really hitting around it here. Is. Um, sign ups. If you want to sign up, if you want to be a part of the SOS, if you want to compete against the very best teams in the amateur scene, there's probably another league out there. Yeah, but if, if you can't, <laughs> but if you don't I can't sign up with them, the SOS is here We're for a nice backup. That's no, right. We all we have a lot of fun. We appreciate uh, um, the mm -hmm. support, the teams that do sign up, the people that watch. We really do. We enjoy it. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting us. Take care. Be well. And remember to safe. keep Maine in your thoughts. Yes, indeed. Really, take really tragic situation going on up there. Hope they find that guy soon. Indeed. All right. Take care. 
from all of us. Have a good night. Night.